I'm going to do a video upload on this lady. Her name's Tommy Ring. She's a city council woman in Bullhead City, Arizona. Um, what she did yesterday was she went into a private business and she basically called out a business owner because he had posted a sign in dislike of one of the other candidates for city council. I want you to see where we're at. We're at the upholstery shop on, on Highway 95 and Turquoise Road. I want you to point, look at that sign. That is disgraceful. It's it's disgusting. Shame on you, Walt Keys. Shame on you, that's a disgrace and that's hate. And the reason why she did it, in my opinion, is because of this article. Petition signatures for four city council candidates challenged. Okay, and this uh, article was posted on April the 21st, 2020. I don't know if you can see this um, clearly, so I'm going to go ahead and read it to you. Two separate complaints cite problems with signatures on petitions for nomination filed by council member Tammy Ring. One complaint was filed by Walter Kiza on Monday. So as you can see, um, this person, Tammy Ring, is bearing a grudge against Walt Kiza. Shame on you, Walt Kiza! Walt Kiza is actually the business that she went to when she accused Walt of being a racist. Not only has she accused Walt Kiza of being a racist, but other people on her thread are actually attacking him as well. Walt Kiza has had death threats and his windows have been broken out of his business. Um, on this thread, there are over 200 comments. This video has been seen thousands of times and there are a lot of very hateful messages in uh, attack of Walt Kiza. Um, the other candidate, Wahid, okay, made the comment about Walt Kiza that Walt Kiza is a racist. Okay, not only did this person call Walt Kiza out as a racist, but he also claims that the sign that Walt Kiza posted was a hateful sign. Um, you can actually see Walt's name being posted here several times. Uh, by several different people. Um, right here, she says, you know, stop the hate, but there really is no hate. Walt Kiza has a right as an American citizen and as a person who has served in the military uh, in the branch of the Marine Corps, probably has more rights than the rest of us have because he has served this country. He has fought for our constitutional rights. Um, but, you know, as you can see, if you looked down this thread, you can actually see that there are a lot of people that are calling him out as a racist. And here you have the word racism and so forth. Um, the, the image that has been shown on the sign is an image of this person's family, okay? This person, Walid has all of his pictures on his Facebook account set to public. That includes all of his family members. He is running for a public position. He is running for city council. So to make any kind of accusations that anybody is you know, exposing his family and so forth um, doesn't really make any sense because when you're running for city council, of course, your whole family is going to be involved in that. So, you know, the accusations that are being uh, made against Walt Kiza, like right here, this person, Tammy Ring, says, this is just wrong to put family in this political environment. Um, well, if you don't want your family put out into a political environment, then don't run. And I can actually go through a lot of these comments. It would probably take me quite a while. And if you have time, you should go and read all of these comments because they are very, very hate-filled comments. Um, as I said, Mr. Kiza has had his windows 
breaking out of his uh, upholstery shop and the reason why he is being attacked is because of this person, okay? It is obvious that her intentions are nefarious, okay? She's leading people to this person's shop. She went to this person's shop. She videotaped this person's shop. And the reason is because Walt Kiza dared to challenge her, okay? And so when you challenge a city council member like this person, um, what you're going to get is the same thing that she is doing to Mr. Kisa. And, and it is a very vicious and violent action, what she has done. I don't see it getting any better. I think it's going to get worse than it is. And um, I really don't know uh, how Mr. Kisa can be compensated or how he could be appeased by what this person has done to him. Um, but if you're a small business owner or if you're a business owner at all living in Bullhead City, Arizona, and you participate in anything that goes against the citizens and the residents of our county and our city, um, everybody's going to find out about it. You will be exposed, you will be found out, and more than likely, you will be called out. And right now, what this person has done um, has caused a lot of violence towards another human being. And, and I think this person right here was the person who was videotaping at uh, Walt Keyes' property. If somebody tries to talk you into doing something that you might think is wrong, or unethical, um, I wouldn't do it. I would just stay out of it and I would just, you know, kind of take a back seat to it and say, you know what, I don't want to do this. It's wrong. All right, here this guy says, Walt is crazy. How is he crazy? He is voicing his opinion. He is voicing his rights. He's doing it legally. And um, the pictures that he is using or the picture that he is using is a public picture. It was made public by the very person, Walid, who is accusing Walt Kiza of being a quote racist. Um, you know, calling this calling Walt a lunatic. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard Tammy Ring uh, speaking at any city council meetings, but this is not the first time that she has gone off on one of the citizens and she needs to be removed. She needs to be removed because this is a very dangerous lady. Donna Quitmeyer. Donna Quitmeyer. Uh, can you can I can you come back up here? You just threw something out here that was very vicious. That is false information. That's all I have to say. And your three minutes is done. False information. You should not be doing that, Donna. A, a, a woman of God, like you just said, does not spread lies. Please don't talk back to me. You've done enough of that for the last few years. Thank you, Donna. Uh, in my opinion, she's very dangerous. But she's inciting political violence against another resident. Okay. Um, if you go onto this thread, if you read this person's comments, this is one of the very few people that are actually making sense uh, on her thread. Okay. Um, he is basically stating a lot of information that is sensible and logical. Um, but when you come across somebody like this person right here, what she's trying to do is um, not only did she incite violence, but she has incited more racial tension that we already have, that we're all living by uh, these days in our country. Um, what she has done is she is basically trying to get her followers to attack an innocent human being, a person who is a prominent member of our society. He is a prominent business owner, he is a veteran, he is an elder, and right now he's being attacked. And he's being attacked because of this woman, okay? Um, this woman accused another woman of being vicious and of spreading lies and spreading slander, but 
This person, what is she doing now? What is she doing? What is she doing? What is she doing right now? That is false information. That's all I have to say. Your three minutes is done. False information. You should not be doing that, Donna. A, a, a woman of God, like you just said, does not spread lies. She's actually slandered and libeled a uh, American citizen. Okay. Um, like I said, you know, if you want to read this uh, person's uh, comments towards her. And uh, you can actually read some pretty sensible information. Um, I think the worst comment that I have read on this thread comes at the very end of the thread. And it was made by um, a person who, I'm going to go ahead and post her comment, but it is of a sexual nature. And it is an accusation that apparently has been reported to the hospital that this person Walid works for or works with. I'm not really sure, um, but you know, like I said, it's at the very end of the thread, and it was written by this person right here. Now, this person is a very brave woman for posting the information that she posted. So if you have time, if I were you, I would, I would educate myself. And when it comes time to voting, I certainly hope that you would make a wise decision. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back up here because there's another guy and uh, he goes by Larry. Larry is a radio talk show host at KNTR, and what he has done, on, he has made an accusation against Walt and called him out as a racist, okay, which makes it very, very bad for uh, Walt as far as publicly is concerned, because like I said, this guy's a radio talk show host, okay. Um, if I was him, I probably would have stayed out of it completely, but, you know, unfortunately, that's just how some people here in this um, in this city um, so uh, let me go ahead and point something out this guy says that Facebook is not a court of law but what Larry should know because he's a radio talk show host is that Facebook is a platform for a, the court of public opinion and I'm sure that any attorney would agree with that will tell you I believe in the presumption of innocence, so I don't know whether she's guilty or not. I can tell you that presumption of innocence only applies in criminal court with the jurors that will ultimately preside over her case. The court of public opinion, we're free to decide whatever we want. So when he goes on to a social media platform or social media account and makes a statement about another resident who lives here in our city, that that resident is, quote, a racist, um, I definitely would have stayed out of it if I was this person, okay, because it's not, doesn't make him look very good. So, you know, we all have our favorites, we all have our candidates that we're going to vote, vote for, um, but when you have somebody like this person who has viciously slandered and libeled a resident of Bullhead City, Arizona, as a city councilwoman, what she's doing is she is swaying public opinion. She is swaying public opinion. She is inciting political violence. She is pushing identity politics. And she is taking her personal vendetta against Walt Kiza to a whole new level. And I hope the city of Bullhead removes her from office immediately. Thank you.